What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com continuing our series on taking a model from SketchUp to Unreal Engine for rendering. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how we can spread grass and trees in our rendering to make it look more filled out. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, and so to start off, we need to get some grass into our scene that we can actually scatter on our surface, right? And so in order to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the grass that's available for free through Mega Scans. You can really bring in whatever grass, meshes, or assets that you want, but that's where we're gonna get these. So we're just gonna go up to the Add to Project. We're gonna click on the option for Quixel Bridge, which is gonna pop up Quixel Bridge, which is gonna give us access to those Mega Scans assets. And in this case, I'm gonna go directly into the 3D plants right here, and I'm just gonna click on the option for grass. And so notice how there's a number of different kinds of grass in here that we can use, just depending on what you're going for, right? I might use the wild grass in this situation, but you can use any of the grass options that you want. And so what I wanna do is I'm just gonna bring these in as low quality just to keep my, uh, keep my performance good. You can definitely go with the higher quality assets if you want to, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select the wild grass and click on the option for add, and that's going to add them to my project. So it's gonna download those grass assets, and then you can actually see them inside of our 3D plants options right here. Note that there's a number of different um, static meshes that get brought in that are grass. And so if I drag one of these into my scene and then take a look at it, you can see how this is exactly what it sounds like. It's basically a patch of grass. And so there's a number of different kinds of grass in here, right? And so you can bring those in as an individual static mesh objects if you want to. Um, generally speaking though, I mean, populating this whole thing with individual static meshes isn't going to be a lot of fun. So what we wanna do instead is we're actually going to use the landscape tools or actually specifically the foliage mode in Unreal Engine. So we can click on foliage mode and what that's gonna do is that's gonna give us a tool for scattering objects in our scene. So there's a few different ways that we can do this. But first off, notice how um, your foliage assets are going to show up in this list. I think if they don't show up in this list, you could just drag them in here, um, but they're already in here for me, so I don't need to do that. And what you can do is you can activate individual foliage types by checking the box right here. And so when you do that, if you wanted to, you could paint this on your surface using the paint tool. Now this is not necessarily what I recommend because if we click and drag across here, what you're gonna run into is it's going to paint grass on your objects that aren't ground objects. So that's not necessarily what we want, right? So I'm just gonna undo this real quick. I'm just doing a control Z in here. Um, the way that I'm finding is really helpful to do this and you could come in here. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna select all of these objects right here, what you can do instead is we wanna use the tool for fill. And so when we use the tool for fill, what that's going to do is that's gonna let us select an object in Unreal Engine, and it's going to fill it with grass and foliage like this. So notice what this does is this drops a large amount of grass and foliage on this object right here. And remember, since this is made up of three parts, I can just go through and click on each one of these. And so you can see that that didn't necessarily give us the density that we want. So I'm gonna undo this. Well, one of the things that you can do is you can adjust the density by doing a shift click over here. That's gonna give you the ability to adjust things like the density of these plants. So if I leave this at 100 right here, and then I click on this surface, notice how that's the density it's going to use. If I undo that, and then I add, maybe if I set it to like 300 and then click again, notice how I get a lot more density in here. And so one thing that you might wanna think about doing when you do this is you might wanna think about adjusting the random scale of this object because what it's doing right now, right, is it's bringing in those objects and it's scaling them exactly the same, right? It's scaling them uniform. So what we wanna do instead is we're gonna set our scale X to maybe like two and then maybe three. And then you can adjust some of these other settings as well. I recommend you just kind of play around with them. We're not gonna get super in depth in this video, but notice how if I click in here now, that mesh is a lot bigger. Now you want to be a little bit careful with this. Um, I'm going to undo this and bring this back down to maybe like one to two instead. But 
um, because two to three was just too big. But notice how now what that's doing is that's randomly adjusting those objects in here or it's randomly scaling them so that they don't look super uniform. And so you can see how now we've got grass on our surface right here. I will note there is a new tool um, that's come out in the newer versions of Unreal Engine called the Instance Foliage Tool or the Procedural Foliage Tool. That actually lets you set this up where you can like procedurally adjust your foliage in here. I haven't quite gotten this one working yet, but you may wanna read this uh, page in the documentation um, just to kind of see how this works. I personally feel like for the grass, it's doing a pretty good job in here. The only thing I don't like about this is if I go back in and I adjust the density, it doesn't live adjust this in here. And so if I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong with this, but it's not letting me go through and adjust that density in here. This isn't like live, this has just been placed in the scene. So just something to be aware of. Maybe those of you that have used Unreal Engine a little bit more than I have can maybe tell me a little bit more about that. But um, this is an easy way to place your grass in your scene. But then let's say we wanted to add some other things in here as well. So for example, let's go back to our Quixel bridge. And I'm gonna go into the nature assets and just add a couple rocks in here. So I'm gonna add maybe like a mossy rock. So I'm gonna bring this in. And so I'm gonna download this mossy rock and I'm gonna bring this in and maybe bring down some smaller rocks as well. And I'm gonna click on add to add that to my scene. But now what I want to do is notice how those got brought in as 3D assets in the Megascans folder. Well, what I want to do is in this case, I'm going to use the paint tool in here. And so with the paint tool, I'm going to go ahead and deselect all of these guys, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag my static mesh into my foliage type right here for my boulder. And I'm going to bring both of these boulders in like this. But what I want to do is I just want to select this one and this one. I want to make sure I don't have any of my grass checked. And what I want to do is I want to use the paint function in order to place these in here. But notice how this is placing way too many rocks in here. Like I just want a couple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two objects. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to bring the density down to like two and then click in here. And notice what that's gonna do, is that's going to paint some random rocks and boulders in here. Now you can come in here and you can adjust the size of your paintbrush like this. Using the brush size right here, you can also adjust things like the density and other things like that. But I just wanted to add some kind of like random rocks in here. And now let's bring in some trees. All right, so to do this, we actually wanna go outside of Unreal Engine into the Epic Games Launcher. So you just wanna go into this Marketplace tab right here, and we wanna browse and find some trees that we can bring in to our project. There's a fair amount of free stuff in the free Megascan section right here. Notice how there's a number of different Megascans trees, right? So this one right here is a collection of these common hazel trees. And so you can just kind of look through this, or if you're going to look for something in particular, um, you can do a search. But in this case, I'm gonna go into maybe this Megascans trees, uh, European black alder. And what I wanna do is I wanna click on the option for add to project. I wanna find my project, and I wanna click on the option for add to project. And so this is going to download those. And notice how this is a pretty big file. I might actually go find one that's a little bit smaller because um, I don't really need eight gigabytes worth of stuff right now. All right, so I'm actually gonna go with this Norway Maple just because it has a smaller file size to download. So we'll give this a minute to download. And then what it should do is it should add it to your project. Okay, and so once it adds this to your project, you should have a folder in your content. Um, specifically, right, this one is labeled Norway maple um, because that's the tree pack that I got brought in. It'll probably be labeled whatever tree pack you selected. But notice how that brings in a ton of different information. So things like uh, different materials that are going to go on the, uh, the trees, other things like that. And in particular, we want to focus on the option for geometry. And um, I don't understand the labels that are in here. Um, I could probably look them up, but just look in the pivot painter folder and notice how that's going to be where all of your stats 
static meshes are. And so you can take those static meshes and you can bring them in however you want. So one way to bring them in is you can click and drag the mesh directly in your scene. When you do that, it's going to take a minute to get this static mesh ready. So just be aware of that. You're gonna be doing a little bit of waiting here um, while it preps your static mesh. I have no idea if this is tied to computer performance or not. Um, I would assume that maybe if your computer is a little bit slower, this might take a little longer, but I'm not really sure. But then once you drag that in, notice what you can do is you can place that. And so you can place it in your scene just in general, but then you can click and drag in order to move it into your scene just like this. And so you could definitely bring those static meshes in in that way. Um, I'll probably do a lot of that with the different trees. And probably what I'm really trying to do right here is just do a little bit of blocking of the background off to the sides here um, because I don't necessarily want to show a ton of this HDRI. But then I'm just gonna come in here with the scale tool and I'm gonna adjust the size so that these trees aren't super uniform. And then I'll go through and I'll add a bunch of other trees using kind of the same method. But then remember that because these are static meshes, we can also come in here and use the foliage painter um, in order to paint some of these in here. Now you wanna be really careful with this if you are going to do that um, because uh, these trees and foliage types are a little bit heavier. And so you don't necessarily want to put a ton of them in here, right? So I would probably start very light on these objects. And um, I'm just going to select them right here, I'm gonna bring this density down to like a one. And I'm just going to use the paint tool, I'm just going to click. And so when you click, notice what that's going to do is that's going to scatter some copies of these trees in here. And once you kind of figure out what the density is going to look like, you can definitely come in here and adjust that, right? You could bring a two in or something like that. But notice how you can use this in order to paint um, paint different versions of these little trees in here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to drop a couple more of these big trees in just like this. Maybe drop some little trees in, but then scale them down. And what you might think about doing in the case of some of these is you might think about holding the Alt key and just creating a copy just by dragging. Remember, Alt with the Move tool is going to put you in copy mode. But then once you're done placing these, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn my exponential height fog off um, because that's really kind of blocking my view, you can see how you've actually got a pretty good look in your scene for your overall rendering. And then once you're done, just make sure that you go through and you save everything. All right, so that's where I'm in this video. In the next video, we'll talk about how to take this image and actually export it. If you have any questions about anything we talked about, feel free to leave them down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.